So how do you actually put together an optimization plan for your digital marketing methods, right? Um, well, uh, breaking it down again into six easy steps, um, gather data, analyze the data, fix stuff that's just broken, then design your tests, run your tests, report and repeat, right? So gather data, you can use, so before you even start to design a test, you want to make sure you understand what's going on already, right? And you can do this through a number of ways. You can do web analytics, right? So you can look at your web log files and things like that. You can um, use user surveys, so you can interview users and figure out what they're interested in looking at. Uh, you can use focus groups and listening labs to try and understand how they're navigating your website or working with your social media. Um, and sometimes you can actually look at the content um, that your customer service reps are generating, right? What complaints are they hearing about the website or things like that? And one new powerful tool there is, you know, people record all these customer service calls. Um, and it used to be really hard for you to kind of, you know, go through all of that. But with speech to text, right, I can take all the customer service calls, transliterate them to speech, and then do things like topic detection on those calls to try and figure out what are my, the most complaints coming back. Now, a lot of them aren't going to be relevant. They're going to be about other things, but some of them are going to be about, let's say, your website or your marketing, right? So that could be useful. Again. Once you have all that data, you should analyze it, right? What, what do people want to do on the site? What, are, what, do, what, do you, what do you want people to do? Who is coming to the site? Why are they coming to the site? And what are they doing, right? And so get a picture for what's going on with the site and what, what's really happening there. And by site in this case, I don't just mean the website. I mean the social media content you're producing. I mean the display ads you're creating. I mean the email that you're creating, right? All that stuff. Are they doing what you want them to do? And try and look to the analytics to see if they are, right? Now, easiest thing is you can fix broken stuff. So it could be that just there's a broken link, right? It could be that, you know, on certain devices, the website doesn't load properly. It could be that you have old content on your social media page that's no longer relevant, right? And so just delete that stuff, right? It could be that you have the wrong information at times, right? That there could be, you know, multiple people are, you know, sometimes even though you try and maintain a unified channel uh, marketing effort across all channels, it might be that some of the channels are producing content that's inconsistent. So fix that, right? Get rid of it in whatever way. Um, that doesn't require a test, just fix it, right? Then once you've fixed all the broken stuff and you have some data, you should start designing the test that we talked about at the beginning. Um, choose the way you are gonna test. What kind of variants are you gonna look at? Then determine the sample and the test length, which we already talked about. Once you've done all that, run the actual test. You should do a little bit of a pretest to make sure it's actually working. People are seeing the different things. They're observing what's going on, right? And then finally, you analyze those test results to see what it tells you. Figure out the next logical extension of the test, right? What's the next thing we should change and repeat the cycle, right? Now, it could be the test comes back negative, right? That it says that whatever you were doing before is just as good as the changes you're suggesting. Um, that's not necessarily a bad thing. It could be that that means that you're doing a pretty good job and at least the way you try to change it isn't going to make a difference. So one thing you can do is try a larger change. Another thing you can do is try a larger sample size, right? The, um, as we mentioned, you know, for, the, for those particular um, significance and power levels that we were looking at, you're getting kind of a nice balance of the trade-off. But if you try more samples, you're gonna get more significance potentially and more power, right? And so it's worth trying a larger sample size to see if it changes your results at all.